Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a configurable product onto the Magento platform. So once you've logged into your admin control panel, you navigate your way to catalog and click on manage products. And once you've clicked on manage products, a list of all of your products will come up. You can select anyone you like and make edit make additions or you can click here and search for the name of the product that you would like to edit. But to add a new <coughs> configurable product, you click on add product on the right hand side and then the attribute set, you, you select what type of product you want to add. So for this particular website, there's quite a few different sections of products. So you select the one that you would like to add. So you've got dresses, hats, jeans, bags, purses and so forth. So if we click on dresses and then the type of product whether it's a simple product or a configurable product. A simple product is generally if it's just one product and there's not there's no attributes related to it. So let's say for example one one color dress in one size that's all it is. So that will be counted as a simple product whereas a configurable product is one type of dress but it's got different sizes and it's got different colors so the user can then uh, select this dress, select this size and also select the color that they want. So if we click on continue and uh, now you select the type of attributes you like. So for this particular dress we want the user to just maybe just select the size. So it's a one color <coughs> but the sizes are different or maybe there's multiple colors so you select both if it's that then click on continue. <clears throat> now you're ready to add all the product, all the in information about the product onto the website. So first of all, we give the product na a name. So we'll call this uh, testing first June, and then a description. And then a short description, maybe just a one line sentence or something. And then your unique code, SK, SKU code, so we'll call it TS1. And then I'm going to cover the main elements of how to add the product then, but you've got certain dates that you can select and certain uh, features which I'll bypass. So what I'll do, I'll just give you the core information of how to add a product. So you select the status, which needs to be enabled for the users to see. And then the visibility, keep that as catalog and search. If you if you don't if you just click on catalog, if somebody searches for that product, it will not be displayed in the search result. So catalog and search allows both. And then featured product. Now if this product is going to be a featured product, so if you've got a section on your home page where featured products are displayed, you select the yes here. So if it's just a normal product, click no. So that's the basic description done. <coughs> Now you click on custom attributes. Now for this type of dress that we've added on, there's also different types of dresses, like there's a day, evening, knit. So what type of dress are we adding? So you select that one. And then the style of the dress it is, whether it's a, a dip hem, jersey, lace, um, a prom. So you select the type of dress that, that, that you want to, the style of it. And then on this particular website, there's also different uh, attributes where user can actually see the delivery and the returns uh, based on this particular product. So enter the delivery information here for this product and then if you've got a return policy enter the return policy maybe like 14 days return. Maybe that's too much so we'll just like seven days return. Okay, and then if this product's got a size guide, so we select the size guide. So, um, you know, let's say eight, whatever the size guide may be. Um, so you select the size guide. If you wanted to switch on the editor, you just click on this button over here. A pop-up will come up, and you can enter the text, just similar to Word document, where you can align it left, align it right maybe upload an image. Um, so if you just see the size kind of go here. And if I make this bold, okay, and I make size guide maybe italic, 
and then I can click on submit. So it basically embeds a code, which is perfect. Now, for this particular website, again, you've got a YouTube video. So let's paste, the, you, all you have to do is paste the URL of the YouTube video here. So that's the attribute section for this particular product done. Then we move on, we click on prices and then we enter the price. So this product is being sold for £50 and um, at the bottom click on text classes and select none. <clears throat> and then if there's a special offer for this product, let's say half price £25, you can also select the dates that it's from. So from 1st of June to 29th of June, it'll be £25, then back to the normal price. Then we move on to the next tab, which is meta information. Now, this is what mainly the search engines see, but it's, you know, get into habit of implementing this onto your website. So, the title tag, this is the normal, what, when the, what's, what's normally seen in uh, search results. So, for example, if I open a browser and type in dresses, so, this bit that I'm highlighting, that's the title, that's the title tag. So here, ideally, you put the name of the product, so test product name. You can even put the category it's in, so it's a dress, um, so something along those lines, so it's easier for your users to click and select if they're searching one, search engine. Keywords, so you type in multiple keywords here, dress, um, the style of dress, and so on, followed by comma, and then the meta description is usually this text that I've highlighted over here. Okay, just a sentence or a couple of words. So just enter um, a sentence describing what the product is that, you, that you've added. So that's the meta information then, which is what the search engine will see. Then we move on to images, and then you can now upload images onto the server. So you select browse files, and choose the image from your computer and click on upload files so you can do that multiple times <clears throat> and uh, the images will be uploaded for this particular product and then design we can skip this element for this particular website gift options we can skip inventory make sure this is selected so click on uh, use config settings and at the bottom stock availability make sure it's selected as in stock if, you, if this is selected as out of stock then it will not be displayed on the website. So in stock is the one that needs to be. And then categories. What categories is this product going to be displayed in? So here you'll have a list of all the categories that are on your website. So you open up the one, so it's clothing, and this is a dress. So that's that done. And then uh, you can continue to move up forward. Then we move on to the related products. So what other products are related to this dress? Maybe there's a top or maybe there's a, you know, a jumper that's related to it. So select the products that are related to this particular uh, product that we've just added on. <clears throat> and then upsell uh, and cross sell, we can pass these two for this particular site. And then we come on to associated products. <clears throat> Now, before we add the additional products, we just click on Save and Continue to Edit at the top right-hand corner. So what we've done right now, we've added the main information for this particular product. We've added what the product is, what attributes we're going to set, um, and now we're ready to add uh, the additional products, such as the different sizes that we have, and also the different colors that we have available for this particular product. So if you just click on there has come up. <clears throat> now, for the first time, if you just keep this as auto-generate, so this the system will automatically create the name of the product, click that as auto-generate, there will be a different SKU reference for each particular product, and then wait, put in the wait here, maybe what, 50, and then status, always enabled, and visibility, again, catalog and search. Or maybe we can just select as uh, no visible, just in catalog. So it depends on what, how you want this to be visible on the website. And then now we choose the attributes. So the first one is this particular dress, we've got it in gold color. And then if there's a difference in price, you put the price difference in there. And then we've got size 10 in gold. And how many we have, so quantity goes here. So you've got 20 of those. And click create. So that now adds <clears throat> that particular product here. We've got 
gold size 10. Let me move on to the next one. And um, again, we've got gold, but this time we've got it in size 12. And again, we've got 20 of those. So that's that done. And then color, again, we've got gold. And this time we have size 18. Okay, so that what we're doing here, we're adding all our gold dresses for this particular product. And then we've got also another color. Let's say we've got purple. And then purple, we've only got one size, which is small. And then a quick create. So this is how you add all the different products, all, all the different sizes and all the different colors for that one particular product. So here at the bottom, you can see a list of all um, sub uh, simple products that are being created, which are all linked to, to this one main product. So once you've added all the products and all the single products, you can now save save this, and this will now add be added onto your website. Now, if you wanted to add more products on um, in the future, um, all you can do is click come back onto the configurable product and select the associated products on the left hand side here, and add additional products, or even over here you can edit. So maybe you've you've discontinued a, a certain element, or you've um, deleted, um, or that product's no longer available. You can delete it or edit it, add more stock, and so on. And to quickly search for a product, all you do is on the name here, you click on test, or for example, the product name. So because we've got a product called June, and click enter, the system will bring up all the products of June. So here you can see. The main product here, testing first June, that's the configurable product. And then you've got all these other products, which are the single products that we did, like we've got gold size 10, gold size 12, gold size 18, purple size small. So all the single products are there. So that's how you add a configurable product.